how London portrays itself needs to change a little bit because it kind of leaves a lot of people behind. I decided to leave home when I was about 13, 14. I kind of fell out with my family um, and so it was, I took the decision myself to kind of leave a bad situation rather than make it get worse and I wanted to kind of go out and set out on my own as well, kind of explore and kind of, kind of grow up a little bit as well. Um, and so, but unfortunately, not having a place to live meant you were technically homeless. I was in a really, really like bad place, and um, I didn't actually think I, I didn't actually think I'd get out of it, and things would be okay. I was this close to just giving up. I stayed on friends' sofas. I lived in different hostels. I lived in. There was a lot of chat every week. It was just a nightmare because I just thought, oh, when am I going to just be somewhere where I can be a bit stable? When people don't notice you and people don't think you exist, they don't even want to try and help you. And in that situation, you kind of have to kind of steal up your resolve and help yourself. I'd seen people who'd been attacked while they were sleeping or even pissed on or even set alight, you know, and I didn't want the same thing to happen to me. I got really badly put in school and I didn't really have many friends because um, I was open about my sexuality and people was not, well, I kind of couldn't hide it anyway, <laughs> but, um, People were not very nice about it. After I left school, I've, been, I've had my ribs broken and my nose broken, and you know, I got attacked on the street and stuff. Um, so it was kind of like a lot of a lot of bad stuff happened. But you've just got to kind of use that, use all that to kind of maybe help other people because I could sit there and be crushed about it and everything like that. But you just got to, you just got to carry on. When you're in that situation, you spend it finding finding something to eat, or or like going to places where you know that you can get help. You know, either even sometimes going to a library and just reading all day. You know, before the library shut, because then you're still doing something productive, and it's maybe not physically but mentally, because half the battle also is your mental state, and if your mental state is 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 bad or worse, like it's going to affect your physical state. I've always been creative, always, since I was young. I've always loved writing songs. I've always loved making music videos. I love like making films. I loved editing, like using Photoshop. Um, I love literally everything creative and it really did used to help me. But then when I was in quite a bad place, I completely lost my muse and I hadn't done anything for years. Maurice, like she came down one day uh, to the North London YMCA and said, look, I'm looking for people to be part of uh, a project that I'm creating called Accumulate. 2014 was the first year we decided to run the photography workshops. What photography does, it actually gets, um, it's a means of expression, but it also became a route out of the hostel because we were always doing the shoots outside of the hostel. When I saw about this the photography course, I thought, oh, I thought I love photography. So I'm definitely doing it. By having this bit of kit around their necks, all of a sudden these kids who didn't really feel they had any sort of sense of control were, were in charge, they were taking photos, they were instructing somebody else how to pose, they were making an image. You know, they had a lot of, of power that ordin ordinarily maybe they didn't feel. Photography enabled me to really be able to express myself because there may be things that I couldn't say out loud, but being behind the camera and taking shots kind of enabled me to kind of exp show what I was thinking or what mood I was in a certain time by what pictures I would be taking, you know. It's really a form of like, ex expresses who you are as a person and also your ideals and, and what you kind of want to get out of life. I wanted a shot that was hard to get and you wouldn't normally see. So that's why I decided to to be under, the bar under a barrier while the guy uh, jumped over me on the bike. And so I took the picture, just kind of just under him like that. So as he jumped over me, I took it. I call the picture fly, a metaphor for kind of coming out from like a dreary place where you don't want to be in, following your dream and kind of like flying away and into something better. Like we'd be in a big group going around London and everyone would be walking. But I would look down a spot 
down an alleyway or something and think, oh, that's different, and I would go off on my own. <laughs> that little cottage is cute. One thing I love is taking pictures of like neon lights, bright and colourful, so it represented me a little bit. Looks are just really colourful, bright, happy almost, like, you know, full of colour. Sam's are very action shots, very bold. It takes them out of the zone, you know? You, you know, they're, they're concentrating on something visual, they're concentrating on making that great shot, they're concentrating on doing that great bit of writing or drawing or whatever it is, and they've left some of that stuff, which was the hard stuff, out of the room. It doesn't enter. You know, and I'm not asking them, it's not art therapy. We're not asking them to sort of like, you know, solve some sort of life problem through it. It's just about them experience positiveness. It's been a long time coming. I feel like it is. It's about time that this happened. <laughs> it's nice to have your pictures shown and be recognised, isn't it? You know, you walk in and they're like, oh, what are you here for? I'm not on my work. He's on the wall. <laughs> they're like, come in. <laughs> I felt important. My plans and dreams for the future are obviously to do this scholarship and hopefully get in to do a degree. And then you never know what might happen from that. I've still got more to give. <laughs> I won a scholarship. I've been going there for the last year. And now that I've finished, I'm constantly trying to see where I can kind of improve and get a better job. I want to help other people who've been in my situation and to, for them to get out of it so it can kind of be a, a continuous cycle. This project gives them the means to understand that they can independently move their lives forward.